Okay, this is question number 7.1 of Devore. Let us try to read this question and let us try to do this question. So read it out. This is a question which is asking you, so the question is to determine the, how to find the confidence levels. Finding the confidence levels, right? Now, using this question, I will also go ahead and I will teach you how to read the Z table, right? Okay, read out the question. It says, what is the confidence level for the interval? And you're given the interval X bar plus minus 2.81 sigma by root N. Now, from this, this is the confidence level, right? So, we know that usually what happens is this is called as the standard error. And we know that this value is called as the Z value, Z alpha by 2. So, we are given that the Z value given to us is 2.81, right? The Z value given to us is 2.81. And this is a two-tailed test, right? So, we are given that it is 2.81. And, and this is something like this, that I am given 2.81 here, which means here it would have been minus 2.81, right? And I am given that this, this value here is 2.81, right? So what I will be now going ahead and doing is I will be going to this table. So you see this table here. This table has given me this as my shaded region, right? So this is a one tail table given to you, not a two tail table. In this table, I will go for the value 2.81 and I will get 0 0.4975 as this area. 0 0.4975. 0 0.4975. So what we will go ahead and we will do is that we will say this area is 0 0.4975, this area, right? Now try to understand whenever we find the confidence level, the confidence level is based on this, right? It's based on this. So what I can go ahead and do is I can just double this up because this is symmetric. So, 0 0.4975 plus 0 0.4975. So, this is 10. This is 15. This is 19. This is 9. And this area, this entire area, it comes out to be 0 0.995. Right? What you can go ahead and do is multiply this with 100 to get the confidence level as 99.5 percent as 99.5 percent so we see that this area that we have here this is 99.5 percent which means if someone asks you that okay you are 99.5 percent you're working with 99.5 percent confidence level so can you tell me what these areas would be you can also go ahead and find that. So we know that this area is 0 0.5 and this part is 0 0.4795. So if I just subtract, I will go ahead and I will get 4975. I will get 0 0.0025, right? So the alpha level that we go ahead and we correspondingly calculate, it can be calculated by using this. Area. Am I clear with this? The alpha level will alpha by 2 is coming out as 0 0.0025. That means this is your alpha by 2. And alpha will be when you add this and this together. So I have to multiply this with 2. So when I will be multiplying this with 2, my alpha will come out to be 0 0.005. Right?
Is this clear? Or in other words, 0.5% if I multiply it with 100. Okay, now let's go to the second question. So in the second part, read out the question. It says, what is the confidence level for the interval? And the interval is given to you as x bar plus minus 1.44 sigma by root m. So from here, we know that the value of z is 1.44. Again, I need to go to this table and I will get 1.44. This gives me 0 0.4251. So, which means that this area now is 0 0.4251. Right? So, to find the confidence level, I will just multiply this with 2. And I will get 0 0.8502. So if I multiply this with 100, my confidence level will be 85.02%. So this is what I have gone ahead and done here. If I just go ahead and multiply it with 100, I will get the confidence level as 85.02%. Now if I were to find out the alpha value, so this area has come out as 0 0.4251. So when we talk about this area, this will be 0 0.5 minus 0 0.4251. So this will come out as 0 0.0749. And if I just multiply this with 2, because this is just alpha by 2, it's a 2 tail value, right? So if I just multiply this with 2, I will get my alpha is 0 0.1498. I can also multiply this with 100 and I will get this as 14.98%. 14.98%. Clear? Okay, come to the next question. It says, what value of Z results, Z alpha by 2, results in the confidence level of 99.7%. Now it's the reverse. You are already given that you are looking for a confidence level of 99.7%. It means that this area is 99.7 divided by 100, 0.997. That means if I had to divide this by 2 because I'm splitting it, the entire blue area is 0 0.997. So if I just divide this by 2, right, what is the value that I will be getting? Just open the calculator quickly. Point nine nine seven divided by 2. 0 0.4985. So we have understood that this part is 0 0.4985. Now we need to go to the table and see where the area is 0 0.4985. So look out through your glasses and look for 0 0.4985. Okay, I have found it. I found it here, 0 0.4985, 0 0.4985, right? So it stands where 2.96 or 7. So the corresponding value will be 2.96 or 2.97. That will be the value of alpha. That will be the value of alpha. Am I clear with it? So in the third part, we go ahead and we find what value stands here such that this area becomes this and you realize that it happens where it is 2.96 from the table. Okay, now look into the last part. So it says answer the question posted in, posed in part C for a confidence level of 0. Point, for a confidence level of 75%. So you're given that this area 
is 75%, right? So, this is 75 divided by 100, 0 0.75. So, if I were to divide it by 2, because why am I dividing by 2? Had my, had my Z table already given me this value, this shaded region, I wouldn't have divided by 2. But my Z value only gives me this shaded region. So, in order to find only this part of the shaded region, only this part of the shaded region, I must divide it by 2. So, when I do 0.75 divide by 2, I get 0 0.375. I would get 0 0.375. 375. So, I need to go ahead and I need to look out for that value where I have 0 0.375. Again, through your glasses, start looking out for value 0 0.375. Look, look, look. I found 0 0.3749 at least here. And that's the closest we would be able to go. Right? Okay, so this comes at 1.15. So my Z value would be 1.15. It would be 1.15. And that would be the answer to this question. Is that clear? So this is how you can go ahead and you can solve this question using the Z table and this also helps you read, understand how to read the Z table. Okay, thank you.